Varför säger du att jag ser ut som Olsen? Varför säger du att jag ser ut som Olsen? You are sometimes a joke. Hey, that's not bad. That means why do you say I look like Olsen? And what's happening, boys? And welcome to the league, Auschwitzkan league winner Mohamed Bouyatouray, the hero of uh, Jurgensen. Uh, the hero of Jurgardens in form, or uh, Jurgardens IF, uh, the title winning club in the Alsvenskan, which is obviously the Swedish league. That's why we're wearing the Swedish kit today. So, congratulations to you guys that support them. It was a very crazy ending to that particular league. I believe Hamarby, um, Jurgardens, and then there was one other club that I'm, le uh, that I'm forgetting. It came down to the last day or the last couple of days, uh, and then. It could have been one of those three teams that won. And of course, it was this guy right here, Mohamed Burya, uh, Buyatare. 15 goals in the Asvenskan, which is the most goals that was scored in the league. And that's why he got himself this hero card. But also, I think he got the hero card because he scored the goal that ended up uh, that ended up getting the result, which was 2-2, which is exactly what they needed in order to clutch up the title victory. So, so here we are today. I spent 20,000 coins on this card. And the Sierra Leone Madman, this, I mean, like, this is the sort of card that we live for for boys a 77 rated card and has some pretty wild stats for having the 77 rated now really quickly i just want to say i want to apologize for the video yesterday apparently for some of you guys it cut short some of you guys were able to watch it in full but the ultimate scream thomas muller card uh epi um if for some of you guys it cut out after the second or third minute so i many many apologies for that uh given that we didn't upload monday and then that happened yesterday i feel really bad that the last couple last couple days haven't been great in terms of uploads on the channel but today uh we are hitting things off with a new team of the week which some people think is really horrible and some people think is actually pretty cool I love the fact that we got this uh, hero card. It looks really, really cool in terms of a card design. Almost has like a Avengers Endgame Thanos thing going on in the background, right? With like the, the purple and stuff like that. Looks really, really good in my opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, like I always say, boys, if you guys are enjoying these sort of like smaller-ish players that aren't really heavily featured elsewhere, uh, drop a like, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Drop a like on the video if you think I look like Olsen. I swear, like literally every other tweet is something along the lines of dude how are you are you related to Olsen the Swedish guy no I'm not you are sometimes a joke Speaking of the stats, like I said, three star, three star, so nothing too great there. 5'10", adequate height, but then you start looking at some of these stats. 94 sprint speed, 96 agility, finishing uh, gets jacked off if we apply the sniper chem style, which we have. Composure is very lackluster, which is something we're going to pay attention to, and the fact that he's only got 78 shot power. This is one of the this is one of the issues I had with that Amin Herit card. Um, doesn't didn't really have anything that really popped out, but uh, the 90 he heading accuracy, the 86 jumping, the 85 stamina, 74 strength, and then the 86 aggression so there's some stats that look really really good and there's some stats that make you question whether or not this card is going to be able to get the job done but we are going to find out in today's epi if this card uh if some of the nutty stats that that, that this card have uh pop off the page and uh r result in him possibly being a beast in the game so we've surrounded him with two jergardsons uh players in the form of barkroth and then also ring but we're going to take them off once the game starts and we're going to bring on walcott and hulk uh, so we'll have hulk on the on the right side and then walcott will be on the on the left obviously he's got the right uh, he's got the right foot right there so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna switch to the 442 which is gonna see Bernard go up as left striker um, he's gonna uh, Toure is gonna go to our right striker and then we're gonna have Walcott like I said as our left mid Hulk as our right mid and then uh, Fabinho uh, Fabinho uh, sorry Fabinho as our left uh, center mid and then Fernandinho as our right center mid so we're nicely uh, defensive oriented and then we're gonna try Digne for the first time and then we're gonna continue seeing if this PK uh, can continue getting the job done because he's been very very good for us and I, I want a little bit more practice with him because we do have him on the RTG and we're going to be running him on weekend league but let's get into match number one with uh let's get into match number one we got to come up with a nickname for him maybe you guys help me out with a nickname for him what what can we do Um, we've got Champions League that's kicking off today. Some of you guys probably want my predictions, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do those right now. I'm going to predict that uh, Bayern beat Olympiacos. I'm going to predict Juventus beat Moscow, which actually just kicked off now, and it's already 1-1. 
I'm going to say City over Atalanta. I'm going to say what, maybe a little bit of an upset alert. I'm going to say 2-1 Leverkusen over Atletico Madrid. I'm going to go and say Dynamo Zagreb 2-0 uh, over Shakhtar. I'm going to say Paris Saint-Germain. I'm going to say it, that's going to be 1-1 at one point, but then Paris Saint-Germain going to kick things off and go 3-1. I'm going to say Real Madrid and Galatasaray draw, and then I'm going to say Spurs um, beat uh, Red Star Belgrade 3-1. Uh, Hey, how's it going, bros? My name's Pierre Depay. Torey, who is now with good ball control, transports it well. Comes on to a little slip. Here we go. Can we please do the big man? I think I equipped the big man dance. Come on, boys! First big man dance of FIFA 20. And he's getting it done with the Brazilian boys. Come on. Yo, so, so far, Mohamed Buya Torre. Um, Torre? Oh, Torre. The Tesco Torre. The Tesco Torre, is that a good nickname for him? Hey, you want to know what? The finishing wasn't an issue there. Uh, obviously, the finishing goes over 90 plus with the, uh, with the sniper. The composure is still very, very lackluster. I'm That's rough. First half, 100% a mixed bag. Um, Ture had two chances. One he made, one he missed. And then the, the chance that he had, I mean, like, he, he probably should have put it through. To be honest with you, this guy should probably be ahead of me right now. This guy should probably be up maybe 2-1. There's only seven uh, Sierra Leone players in all of Ultimate Team, and two of them have informed. So that's kind of cool how they, uh, um, Sierra, Leone's, Sierra Leone is representing quite nicely for the, uh, for the nation, for the African nation. Bro, do not sleep on... Bur Referee, ha referee, have a word, bro. There we. Today is mess now. Bra ball control. Transportera bra. Kommer han till ett avslut. There we go. Torre with the shot power. Very impressed with that shot power. If I if I don't mind saying so myself. What is it? Hold on a second. That was that's not his shot power. He's only got 78 shot power. And with the sniper chem style, it goes up to... It doesn't go up at all. Okay. I mean, it's not, is, is shot power even a thing then? Can we get a replay of that? A little bit of a body faint. And then just a perfect... Eh, maybe that's just finishing. Maybe that's his 94 finishing. It came down to the very last minute. We almost, almost came away with a draw. This guy got a little bit unlucky, I feel. He probably deserved... He probably deserved a dub. My Ter Stegen was all over the place. I don't know what's going on. Two goals for Mohamed Bura... Tor, uh, Mohamed Bouya Torre um, in match number one. Dribbles completed 16 out of 21, so that was pretty decent. Shots on target, 4 out of 5, and converted, like I said, 2. None more important than the game winner there, but very, very impressed with, the, uh, with his performance in match number one. And let's play uh, Josef Martinez alongside Torre, because the, technically the two of them together are like the ultimate uh, super subs. Let's go, boys. Skill. Skill, boys. Come on. Three goals and a little stutter step and makes his keeper look like an absolute asshat. Alexa, can we please get a replay of that? What is his Ter Stegen doing? What the hell is his Ter Stegen doing, bro? I don't deserve to score that. His, keepers, his keeper doesn't know how to react to anything. His keeper actually just doesn't know how to... <laughs> His keeper doesn't, first off, his keeper does not understand. Goal, 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 goal. 90 minutes, if you win, it's the goal. It's tough to 
Talisha. That Anderson Talisha, man. I can't wait for him to get a special card. His agility is probably the main thing that pops out. The agility. Uh, the finishing is probably the most surprising stat because he does have the 69 composure. Uh, and all the goals that we've scored, he's been surrounded by some variation of a player. Um, so that's probably the first thing that pops out to me. The the, the fact that I think he has... The, what is that? Four or five goal contributions in two matches already? Hey, how's it going, bros? My name's Pierre Depay. <laughs> PK. Oh my God, that was it! I thought he had the breakaway. I, I thought he had the breakaway speed, but that's. I think that's 77 rating coming into effect there. There's only so much you can do with a with a with a rating on that. He's. Finish that! That would have been sick! If this card had an 80 rating, it would be absolutely insane. And then one combination of either a 4-star weak foot or a 4-star skill move would just absolutely make this card pop. Hey, how's it going, bros? My name's Pierre Depay. We didn't deserve to win that one. Bro, FIFA feels horrible today. FIFA feels absolutely ridiculous today. Ah, booyah. Bah. Hey, did he get a hattie? Hey, we get ourselves a Hattie. Eight total attempts. He does get himself three goals. Doesn't have a player face. Um, EA, I expect in the, next, uh, in the next update for this beautiful, beautiful man to get himself an update. But if there's one thing that I, I would say about this card is the agility. 99 agility. That is why you do this card. It's why we loved Yusuf Poulsen's card last year. Even though he had three-star, three-star, uh, we managed to get some things done with this card. Uh, even though, like I said, he only has a three-star, three-star. Now, uh, in terms of value, boys, I am going to go have to... As of right now, I spent 21 thousand i'm probably i'm gonna assume it's gonna settle at about uh at about 12 um at about you know 10 to 12k on xbox uh i'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five you don't get a four star weak foot you don't get a four star skill moves but you do get yourself a player that you can just slap on the bench as a super sub um bring him on in the 80th minute he's got enough finishing and is interesting enough with the 99 agility you know granted there's probably four or five other super subs i choose over him but if you haven't done any of the SBCs, this guy is purchasable off the market which is why i'm gonna give him a three and a half out of five now uh i am also going to give him a three and a half out of five in terms of performance um he made some goals obviously had uh si five goals contributions in two matches played which sounds really really crazy but i think we got a little bit lucky with the agility that we were able to pull off with him and uh some of the finishing definitely let him down and then the composure when he gets the breakaway and he's got defenders around him uh you definitely feel the fact that he's a 77 rated card now uh if i could give him a fun rating it would 100 percent be a five because any time that you don't spend any coins again twenty thousand coins but that's only because he's been out for a few minutes now um and i had to overpay for him but anytime you get a really really cheap card with some fun stats like this it's always a five out of five in terms of fun and that's exactly why i like to do this sort of epi and like i said if you are a your gardens fan if you're a your gardens uh, supporter congratulations on winning the league um apparently it was a very very crazy season like i said it came down to the last day to determine who was going to be the uh the champion but anyway my bros if you guys did enjoy the epi drop a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below i will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time my bros choose later a day